How you doing? My name is Ken Promola from ilovebjj.com. I'm here with my student Rob McNamara. Rob won uh, 10 matches in one day. Rob doesn't say it was a tough tournament, but uh, he got some submissions out of it. He's a very good and refined purple belt, one of my top assistants here at the Flow Academy. Okay, We're going to talk about some open guard principles, um, just some drills that we do uh, if I'm down. Some basic stuff we do, um, maybe this stuff's on the internet. Go like one, two, one, two, one, two. You don't want to stay in any of the positions for too long. He can take advantage of them. But just playing here, playing here, boom, come out here. I stay busy the whole time. I try to bring my hips out, okay? I keep my hands busy. I like to come collar, sleeve, foot on the hip. Here, foot on the hip. Both of my hands are busy. My foot's in his hip, so it makes it difficult for him to pass, okay? Here, okay? Can also come up if he tries to pass this direction here. Oh, my post here, okay? If he gets low and he starts uh, just on the knee, right about here, okay? And he starts to get around, if you come around here, Sometimes I'll abort the hand on the collar as he comes around, and I'll get an underhook with my left hand and square back up. So it's like this, here, without a partner, please. So it's here, 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 boom, right here. The hand on the collar is an important thing to have because you can use it, I like to use it for chokes, or that's if I have the hand through here, or I put it on the clavicle right here, and I just use it as a fist right here. So now try to come into me. It makes it difficult for him. So, oh, he doesn't want to pass this side, so he passes the other side. Boom. You can drag. That was a little bit of a stunt move as you went down. Um, but I always tell my students, you know, if the guy's on the legs here, you know, and they're just hanging out here, I say, keep busy. Keep busy with your hands. Grabbing here, maybe two and one. Boom, here. Here, always doing something, okay? If the guy gets in too close sometimes, here, he's passing your legs, here, boom, I try to go for a choke, open him up, his head comes back, then I come back inside. There's some very, very good passers, some people from my affiliation, you know, and they're very, very good, and when they come very tight and they're passing the legs here, if I'm just worried about the hips or pushing here, now they're heavy, they get passed, I'm done. So if you can develop a good choke here that's a threat as they come to the side, boom, you go for the choke and there it opens them up and my guard opens back up, understand? Okay? I think my guard is decent. I've lost some matches, but a lot of the times, even if some of the back takes, people usually don't get past my guard and get those get those three points. So I've been trying to develop it, and I always try to do something to uh, not have that guy pass your guard. It can be very frustrating for that guy. Okay? Um, you feel that's it in terms of the principles and stuff? But we show. Okay. All right, guys. Thank you.